So good morning, everybody. Um, I welcome my editorial board member, associate editor, Ritesh Gupta, Panshi Shabu, Dr. Chabla, and uh, we are fortunate today to have Samir from Elsevier. He has been supporting the journal for last since I've taken over. So, um, and he knows now ins and outs of the working, how we work. And uh, it's good that he's attending all these conferences so that he knows how things are progressing. Our, today, uh, I'm thankful to Banshi and organizers for giving this opportunity to uh, let us present the some of the best papers which have been chosen. And uh, Ritesh will subsequently talk about how we chose the paper. My job here is brief and introduce how the journal is doing. Our journal, Diabetes, Metabolic Syndrome, Clinical Research and Reviews, has been started uh, now almost 15 years by Dr. Shokat Sadiko. And uh, he did a great job, I must say, because he internationalized the journal. Till that time, no journal from India was in the internet. And he put it in such a way that most of the Middle East is covered, some of Africa is covered, and some papers from North America, South America, Europe, Japan, South Asia, started covered. That is the kind of reach that he achieved. That was a great job. So sitting here in Bombay to achieve that kind of international status, tremendous. And then he became an idea of president, and that helped also because he met a lot of people from other countries. Uh, then, subsequently, uh, Dr. Arvind, Dr. Banshi Shabu, they have taken Diabetes India to a greater height, and uh, after unfortunate demise of Dr. Sadiko, uh, bestowed me the editorship of this journal, and I have done the best to take it forward. This is basically journal from diabetes. But subsequently, once I take over our foundation, History and Cholesterol Foundation, also kept it. So now it is being managed by Diabetes India, as well as National Diabetes Cholesterol Foundation. So this is the kind of face our journal carries. Now in the next five slides, I will tell you the progress of this. This is the global authorship. You see the global authorship. Uh, I think we, before over, we were confined to this area. Uh, India and Iran is best of the world here. But we did not have enough reach all all these places and all. Now you can see reach. And I can proudly say that at this point of time we have the best national of any journal as far as South Asia. Now, what are the publications types? If you look at this, this is the uh, data up to 2022. Uh, the original articles are up to almost 75%. Uh, Review 17.9, and there are other bits of articles. Uh, to increase the face of the journal, we have changed the course and started publishing more major views and meta-analysis but those are the ones which attract a lot of citation. We want citation. We are growing up. I cannot be uh, sort of, a, I cannot demand anything. I can be only a beggar. So this probably has changed a little over the last one year. 
Uh, this is the contribution by different countries. That the uh, yeah, still contributes the largest number. But what I have seen and uh, or others have noted is the quality of articles in India is not that I would say a plus. Since it is from India, it is my inclination to publish Indian type of articles because that's what we are here for to begin with. We would certainly like more quality articles. Iran, amazingly, amazingly, Iran publishing hundreds of articles. And they are very good at diet, they are very good at metabolism, lifestyle, channel. Very good at it. And besides our journal, they have published everywhere else. If you look at the European Journal of Medical um, uh, Nutrition, Clinical Nutrition, you have PLOS One, uh, several other good articles. Iran is our major contributor. But what is surprising is, and you would notice, is that the United States has started uh, sending our articles. And some of these articles are pretty good, I must say. But if we have yet to reach the A plus universities in the United States, that is the fact, factual situation. Some articles from the United Kingdom, and uh, Banshi would be happy to know. Kamlesh Kunti, we have published several articles. Sundar Madariar, we have published several articles, his colleagues' articles. Uh, Stuart Gray from the Scotland, he's an associate editor now. They published. And then there are some articles from Australia which have started coming. A uh, lot of Indonesian articles are, some articles from ba Bangladesh and so on. So you can see the dynamics of uh, articles which we receive is changing. And we are going up and up as far as quality of articles are concerned. Uh, as a result, uh, as Samir would notice uh, that our review time has increased. Why is it increased? Because we are looking at articles greater detail. I don't want to make any mistakes in the article. Sometimes I correct the article. Sometimes I uh, give them suggestions even after article is accepted. Now recently a Pakistani article was accepted and I noticed that the when the, it went online, there was a, a huge number of mistakes in the, in the abstract. I directly emailed this guy and corrected the whole abstract by myself. And he was very grateful. I said, you are going to get the proof to correct all. Similarly, Japanese. So there are a number of countries where English is not particularly good. I do a lot of corrections. Almost one hour per day, or one and a half hours per day is spent on this. So this is the letter which goes to our uh, reviewers and our um, authors, uh, along with my signature. And this is uh, the factual situation as of six, six months from back. Now, this is the, is ranked number one in Asiatic countries as far as endocrinology, diabetes, and metabolic the concern. And summary of ranking is we are in quartile one. Now, if you saw an article published recently in our journal, where they looked at all articles from South Asian countries, 50 to 60 percent of articles from Pakistan and India are in quartile six and quartile seven. Now, quartile six and seven is some, somewhere 500 rank. Who cares about quartile seven? Nobody cares. Nobody cites the article from there. It's when nobody cites an article, it's worth not publishing. Simple. We are in quartile one. Site score 10, and I'll show you site score subsequently. Uh, and SGR rank, ranking also has increased, H index of 57. Global ranking 27 out of 240 journals, based on general citation report released on 28 June 2020. 12th in all general subject of diabetes and technology. We are ahead of some of the international journals which you may think are very good, like diabetic medicine, uh, DMJ open research, we are ahead of them. We are just beneath some of the, you know, I, I cannot catch up with diabetes care, I cannot catch up with the general clinical endocrinology metabolism. 
but we are around 10 ranks below. I hope to catch up this year, at least 5 ranks up. Rank number 1 in subject of diabetes endocrinology nation. Look at the site score. Now, site score is written here. Site score is the metric that measures the average citation received per document in a particular journal during a specific period of time. Calculated by dividing the number of citations received by article published in journal during the three-year period or other specified period by number of articles published during. It's similar to similar to impact factor. It's similar to impact factor, except that impact factor is every two years and uh, uh, it is more established metric for last 30 years. This is a, a Elsevier metric, site score. At the site score. Till 2019, we were 2.6, means one article quoted 2.5 times. Started now. We I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I'm not saying it's not my all of effort. I'm lucky because COVID really propulsed us. We were the first one to publish the diabetes and COVID in the world. This was right in the February of 2020 when nobody published anything, and this is quoted in Medscape, and is now cited almost 600 and times. That, general, that article, uh, Ritesh, myself, quoted 600 times till now, continues to be quoted two years later, although it was just initial article. We started rising 4.9, 10, and 15.1 just a couple of months. 15 citations per article. We continue to grow. Now, these slides have been provided by uh, my colleague, who is an editorial board member, Raju Vesha, who is very good at metrics. Uh, and uh, he is a very, he is, although orthopedician, uh, Banshi, he is an orthopedician, he is one of the best researchers on, from this part of the world. He is very good at the scopus, and these slides are provided by him. And this is the Shimago journal branch. A calculation of SJR takes in account not only the number of citations received by journal. So you may ask, you may write an article, ask your friends to cite that article, and you may have 15, 20 citations. Does it matter? Prestige of the journals in which those citations appear. So not only citation, but prestige of the journal, the citation. Metric uses a variant of Google's page rank algorithm, which assigns a higher value of citations from highly cited journals to those from less cited. So a higher journal cites my article, I get more prestigious rank. This means SGR is designed to reward journals that are cited by other high quality journals rather than simply those who receive large. So look at the SGR rank from 2000. They're there, major. So we are growing, I hope, this year we grow further. So trend in uh, SCI Ago General 7, rest of the years look at the rank. And this is my final slide. Um, and this, uh, I must say, Samir has been very supportive and asking for special issues. We had several special issues. Our best special issues were these two. Diabetes, COVID-19, basic and clinical research. We post hundreds of articles. We were the first one to actually put a special issue. And that's why I attracted such a wide number of uh, articles from all over the world. Then COVID-19, we long COVID, vaccination and immunity. We looked at that and it received less citation by the time COVID was waning. Then we had uh, Dr. Uh, Hasnan and Dr. Jabbar. And she also was instrumental in getting them to our journal. Um, uh, Ramadan, diabetes and Ramadan fasting received a good number of articles, and this is the area which we covered well. This was initially with diabetes research and clinical practice. So this is a major hoop that we got them to our journal. Then, the, what are the current, currently running uh, special issues? Diabetes and sarcopenia. Stuart Gray from Scotland is the guest editor. And day for yesterday, we started uh, the artificial intelligence in medicine with special reference to diabetes. This is uh, from Dr. Prasanna Santaram from John Hopkins. He's the guest editor. He's a AI guy himself. 
So we hope to get, this is again, we are ahead except NEGM and one or two journals. We are ahead of others as far as this already published chat, GPT, uh, Raju Vesha, myself. Uh, you, those of you who have not gone through chat GPT paper, please go through that because it will give you the future of what is going to happen as far as publishing uh, uh, the, uh, the article writing is concerned. Uh, chat GPT is a must for anybody who is writing. So with that, uh, with that, I end my presentation. I thank uh, Elsevier specifically for supporting me all throughout. Samir, uh, may please get up. Uh, Samir is, uh, uh, you know, instrumental in getting us uh, the support that we need. Uh, of course, I have asked him for double the support, and he has uh, assured me that he will get it. Uh, and specifically, and uh, since Banshi is here, um, Arvind is not here. But specifically, I asked him that we need more quality control of the because at this point of time, I am the editor, I am the proofreader, I am the quality controller. I uh, see the spelling. I see the, uh, you know, sort of a whole formatting of the article. So we need a proper quality control person who can really, and because we are going to get impact factor. Samir says, Samir is very optimistic. I am, I, I will be conservative. I, I would say five, four to five, which is uh, almost uh, as good as any of the journals in international arena and best as far as the Indian journals are concerned. Um, if we have that, we need more quality as far as our. And to all of you who have contributed to our journal, uh, thank you. Uh, we need better quality of articles, better formatting, no spelling mistake, not a single one. If you look at the uh, New York Journal of Medicine, if you find a single spelling mistake, that hard, the whole thing is gone. Not a single. Not a single comma out of place, not a single uh, full stop out of place. The table's well formatted, everything. Uh, if you need help, I have helped people before they have sub submitted hard, hard. That you should submit like this, although I don't assure that it will be published, but this is what you should do. So, so I thank uh, again Banshi. Yes, Banshi, please.